Well, it's D-Day for polling in Rajasthan as people head out to cast their votes. The elections are being contested by 1,862 candidates from various parties and the total number of voters is uh, somewhere close to 5.25 crores. Of these, 1.71 crore voters are between the ages of 18 and 30 and 22.61 lakh are new voters between the ages of 18 and 19. Well, as voters queue up outside polling booths, the burning question is, what is the Janta's pulse? What are the issues that the people of Rajasthan have in their mind while casting this vote? And what will be the mandate of Rajasthan in these assembly polls? Is it going to be BJP, Congress and then BJP again? Or will that mould, will that practice be broken? Is Rajasthan going to go for a fresh government? Is it tired of uh, the crimes? against women in Rajasthan, the paper leak and of course the lack of jobs, the kuda kachra that voters spoke of, of this morning. Remember viewers, these polls are crucial as they are essentially a semi-final for the 2024 general elections. Yes, India is going to vote for the biggest democratic exercise in a matter of less than six months. This is a, a preliminary test for uh, uh, both the parties, the principal contender being the uh, Congress party at this point in time. In Rajasthan particularly, the battle is primarily between the BJP and the Congress. It's a big test for both the parties. Will the Congress manage to retain power or will the Modi factor work in favour of the Bharti Janata Party and bolster its prospects like it has done in a lot of occasions? These are live shots that you see coming on your screen. Incumbent Chief Minister... Mr. Gelot has cast his vote. He's meeting up with supporters, uh, waving uh, away while security frisks, frisks him out of the polling booth where he's already cast his vote. Well, it, at this point in time, it's 10 past 10. I'm going to go across to my colleague Pia, who's going to try and tell us what the voter turnout has been so far. It's only been a few hours since people have started to vote. So let's not expect miracles at this point in time. It's a Saturday. It's a holiday. People will be coming in to vote slowly and steadily. Pia, what can you tell us? Indeed, uh, let's in fact take a look at the voter turnout. At the moment, it's around 9.97% uh, in Rajasthan. But talking about Chief Minister Gerov, we've just seen him cast his vote in the Sadarpura uh, Assembly constituency. That is where he is in fact contesting from. Back in 2018, the overall voter turnout was 67.09%. And till 9 a.m. early on a Saturday morning, the voter turnout is 10.67% over here. Meanwhile, in Tonk, this is the place from where Sachin Pilot is contesting. In 2018, the overall voter turnout was 76.61%, whereas till now, till 9 a.m., it is 14%. Things are looking pretty good in this particular constituency. We're taking a look at Jaldrapatan, another uh, place from where a BJP stalwart this time, Vasundra Raja, is contesting. In 2018, the overall voter turnout was 78.43%. Meanwhile, till now, till 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, it is 10.89%. But taking a look at some other constituencies, Jothwara, uh, as of now, it is 11.28%. In 2018, it was 72.31% overall um, uh, but this is not all uh, the trends are around 10 to 14 percent uh, but uh, let's in fact also take a look at uh, two three more constituencies um, so that we get a comprehensive picture of what exactly is uh, taking place on a uh, ground in Rajasthan. Uh, this is of course uh, Vidyadhar Nagar. Um, in 2018, the overall vote percentage was 70.29 and whereas now, it, till 9 a.m. in the morning, it is 10.30%. So of course, it's continuously staying between the brackets of around 9 to 14. This is uh, Lachmangar. 2018, the overall vote percentage was 74.39. In 2023, that is today morning till 9 a.m., it is 11 0.57%. Uh, this is, of course, the latest that we're tracking for all you viewers. Raj Samant, uh, another key constituency. 2018, the overall vote percentage was 76.59, whereas right now it's around 8.28%.
percent, a little less than the other constituencies we've shown you. Uh, but back around uh, the figure of nine is uh, Sri Madhopur. In 2018, the overall voter turnout was 72.75 percent, whereas till 9 a.m. today, it is 9.9. .9 percent and last but not least Udaipur another very key constituency in 2018 the overall voter turnout was a little less than the other constituencies we've just examined at 67.06 percent but things are looking pretty good right now it is a 10.30 percent uh, at which the voter turnout is till 9 a.m back to you Vineet. Priya, yeah, thank you for that uh, wonderful analysis. Rajalakshmi Joshi, political analyst, joins us at this point in time to uh, give her inputs. Mr. Akil Khan, political analyst, also joining us on the show. Rajalakshmi Joshi, if you can hear me, I'll come to you first. A very good morning to you. Crucial day for Rajasthan. Some people feel it's also a crucial day because this is more or less a preview of uh, what's going to happen in the Lok Sabha elec elections as well. But, you know, so was Karnataka and so are some of the other states considered to be a preview for what's going to happen in Lok Sabha. But a lot of detractors say that is not the case. People vote differently when it comes to national elections. People vote differently when it comes to uh, state elections. But do you think that the people are going to vote differently this time around in Rajasthan? Because the trend has been that one tenure has belonged to the Bharti Janata Party and the subsequent one has been taken up by the Congress Party and so on and so forth. This has been continuing since 2000, I beg your pardon, since 1993. Mr. Gelot has been the Chief Minister thrice, Prasunza Rajay twice. Uh, but the Congress Party has had its issues. They've had a lot of infighting. But the big question that boils down Raja Lakshmi Joshi is that do people really care if Sachin Pilot and uh, Mr. Ashok Gilot have fought in the past? What they really care about is women's safety, what they care about is infrastructure, what they care about is the paper leak. 33 lakh aspirants were supposed to in fact be a part of that paper leak which did not take place. 250 people were sacked. 33 lakh Raja Lakshmi Joshi that also goes on to tell you the extent of unemployment that exists in Rajasthan today. Your thoughts? A very good morning, Vinny. And, uh, you know, very firstly, I, I was listening to uh, the reports from, uh, you know, your team. And uh, I wish to tell all your viewers that whoever is not yet uh, gone out for voting, please go out and vote, whoever is from Rajasthan. Because this is this festival of democracy and it's not just your uh, right, it's your duty to vote. So, uh, now, Vineet, coming to all your questions, uh, yes, you know, this. there has been this trend right from 1993. And if you have seen that there is this uh, huge chunk of votes which uh, the Congress has not won, you know, in the last three times, that is uh, 54 votes, uh, 54 seats. So now, uh, you know, what the Congress is doing is the approach is that, uh, you know, uh, realistically, if you look at it, the Congress seems to be contesting only in 140 seats. Because now, if you see that, uh, you know, some a few days back, if, uh, if you remember that uh, uh, Mr. Gehlor, he had set out on this, uh, uh, you know, campaign where he was going to visit every constituency. And how many constituencies did he visit? He had 140 constituencies that he was going to visit. I mean, that is the kind of approach we need that, you know, they, the Congress uh, just leaves out the, uh, the number of seats that uh, they uh, don't think that they will win. And they try, put in all their efforts only in those strong ones. So those 54 seats that they consider as weak seats, they literally leave it out every time. So then that is the reason why they are contesting only out of 140 seats. And whereas the BJP puts in all its might in every single seat that is possible. And, uh, you know, that is the trend you have seen, whether it may be in a bipol, whether it may be in a panchayat. Uh, election, whatever it may be, the full force of the BJP comes in to make sure that they win every single seat. So realistically, if you look at it, uh, this is how it goes. So, you know, uh, I would look at it in uh, maybe three ways. That is, uh, you spoke about the issues. Yes, there are five issues that the BJP has uh, raked up. They're talking about the paper leagues, they're talking about the farmers. They're talking about the youth and unemployment. They're talking about women's issues and they're talking about law and order and especially about how, uh, you know, a lot of Hindu festivals, especially they were attacked, you know, with a lot of pre-planning. So that was uh, terribly uh, overlooked by the Gehlut government and very rightly 
the prime minister and all the ministers they have been rightly pointing it out so that goes very strongly against the gherot government because it shows a lack of law and order and even at that time if you remember uh, mr gelot used to keep saying that uh, why doesn't mr modi do something about it why doesn't he speak about it so he was the chief minister but he was expecting the prime minister to come in and speak about it so these are that was one aspect of it now again i told you about the mathematics of it about the 140 uh, seats that they are contesting only out of the 200 seats now another aspect is the uh, pilot versus gehlot now it does affect it uh, slightly beneath because uh, you know there is this huge uh, gurjar community which uh is probably miffed this time around because you know last time they had this uh, kind of a feeling that uh, you know maybe sachin pilot will be the chief minister and he also thought so but then if he himself is being overlooked in this party then what about uh, the prospects about the community that is how they are looking at it so you know uh, obviously you know he has probably uh, kept quiet about this entire issue right now Uh, you know for whatever reasons because this is the, not the right time to come out with it but then obviously he is not going to be very content with the way things go and uh, obviously there is this huge trend where there are strong seats of the bjp they are uh, very hugely strong like the last three rounds they have won in 54 seats so that again is something that goes in their favor so every time the bjp wins uh, wins bjp wins with a huge margin and if you look at it that the bjp has not taken anything for granted they are not taking this trend for granted they have put in uh, some union ministers they have put in uh, mps rajya sabha mps they have put in a lot of different faces new faces also just to make sure that every seat is uh, coming into the way of the bjp so that is how the, there is this huge difference between the approach of the bjp and the congress and that always has results it's not that uh, bjp is some kind of an election machinery but it's that you know they put in that much efforts and that shows at the end beneath so i will not be surprised if the bjp gets like something uh, in the range of 150 seats and uh, the congress has to settle for less than 50 because uh, there are others also in the fray that the, there is the bsp there is the sp all of them are definitely going to make a huge dent into the congress's votes and uh, you know the congress i think is taking it uh, things a bit too easy and they are uh, the fact that they are coming out with a huge uh, a whole lot of uh, guarantees at this point of time only shows that they are definitely uh, quite weak uh, right now that is how i look at it vinay all right all right good good analysis uh, rajalakshmi as always i'm going to cut across to my colleague razaullah who's joining us at this point in time from jaipur razaullah agar aap meri awaaz sun pa rahe hain kuch logo ke sath hain aap janne ki koshish kijiye ki kin kin vishayon par kin kin muddon par unko lagta hai ki unka matdan aaj zaruri hai aur kya apekshaye hain congress ki sarkar se jo अभी काबिज है या फिर कोई दूसरी सरकार से जो कल को आ, उनको पलट भी सकती है क्या नाम है आपका मेरा नाम रियाज है और मैं चाहता हूँ आज सभी अपने वोट का प्रयोग करें अधिक से अधिक संख्या में जिस तरीके से राजस्थान में परंपरा रही है पांच साल तक कांग्रेस पांच साल तक बीजेपी इस साल क्या परंपरा को लेकर क्या लग रहा है आपको सर सरकार की योजनाओं से प्रभावित हो गए लोग मन बना चुके हैं कि किस बार कांग्रेस सरकार रिपीट होगी मुख्यमंत्री अशोक गहलोत साहब की जन कल्याणकारी योजनाओं से और स्थानीय विधायक रश्मि खान जी के सहयोग और अच्छी मेहनत से लोग मन बना चुके हैं कि इस बार कांग्रेस की सरकार वापस आ रही है आप क्या कहेंगे जिस तरह से आज वोटिंग प्रतिशत हो रही है सुबह सात बजे से लगातार जो मतदान है वो यहाँ पर जारी क्या कहेंगे आप आज जो जनता में जो जोश देखा है जो गहलोत जी की जो योजना है सात योजना है जो गहलोत जी की है आज उसके हिसाब से आज मैं देखता हूँ की आज पचानवे परसेंट पोलिंग उसको लेकर तैयारी है तैयारी है आपसे जानना चाहेंगे जिस तरह से मतदान सुबह सात बजे शुरू हुआ था आपकी आवाज 
Kafi Barik. I'm going to go across to my colleague Mafatlal, who's joining us from Jalore at this point in time. Mafatlal, आप कुछ लोगों के संग हैं उनसे बातचीत करके बताइए कि राजस्थान में किस चीज की आज सबसे जरूरत है बिल्कुल हमारे साथ लोग उनसे जानते हैं एक चीज बताइए यहाँ पे सबसे ज्यादा क्या जरूरत रहती है जो राजस्थान के अंदर जिसको लेकर आप वोट कर रहे हैं पानी पानी बिल्कुल खा रहा है यहाँ पे क्या पानी है ही नहीं है स्नान करने के लिए पीने के लिए तो नहीं है सबसे ज्यादा दिक्कत है वो पानी की रोड तो अभी ठीक है पानी की मेन किल्लत है ये बागरा में पानी बिल्कुल खराब है डॉक्टर और हॉस्पिटल में कोई डॉक्टर नहीं है कोई व्यवस्था नहीं है डॉक्टर की बागरा इतना बड़ा काम है एक भी डॉक्टर वहाँ हाजिर नहीं है अभी आप जाके देख लो और जो लोग उनसे भी जानते हैं आप बताइए किस तरह की यहाँ की समस्या है और क्या जैसे हर हर बार जैसे एक, एक बार कांग्रेस एक बार बीजेपी आती है और इस बार क्या लगता है इस बार देखिए जैसे पैसा ने बताया पूरी समस्या है पूरे गाँव को लेके और इसके बारे में लोग ऐसा कुछ सपोर्ट में है कि गांव में जो विकास है वो होना चाहिए प्रगति का उनको होना चाहिए और जो विकास करता है उनको लाएंगे और भी लोग उनसे भी जानते हैं आप बताइए किन मुद्दों को लेकर जो मतदाता है इस बार वोट कर रहा है ये अगली बार पांच साल में जो गई सरकार उसमें हमारी क्या क्या दिक्कतें हुई पूरी दिक्कतों की कमियां देते हुए भी अभी भी सब ये इसी बार ये बीजेपी सरकार की आशा रखते हुए हमें और भी लोग हैं आप बताइए क्या मूल यहाँ की क्या समस्या रहती है जैसे आप भी आओ क्षेत्र की बात की जाए या जालौर पूरे क्षेत्र की बात की तो यहाँ की मूल समस्या क्या है जिनको लेकर जनता जो है हमेशा परेशान रहती है हमेशा परेशान बोला हमारे मेन तरफ पानी की हमारे गाँव में है तो अभी पानी की बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है अभी खाला पानी पूरा आता है हमारे को मीठा पानी के लिए हम सब गवर्नमेंट आते हैं बोलते हैं की हम मीठा पानी लाएंगे लाएंगे कोई नहीं लाता कोई नहीं लाता अभी तक कोई भी अभी भी टैंकर हजार रुपए पंद्रह सौ रुपए टैंकर वाले लेते हैं अभी हमारे को मेन पानी पानी की समस्या है वो पानी की समस्या को होना और हमारी ये बोलेंगे कुछ सिस्टम खोलना आप बताइए क्या क्या समस्या रहती है किन मुद्दों को लेकर जो है युवा वोट करेगा ये मेन दिक्कत पानी की है वो तो है ही है राज्य के हिसाब राजस्थान के हिसाब से देखने जाए की एक संस्था है जिसका नाम पी एफ है वो पूरे इंडिया में पैन है और हमारे राजस्थान में कोटा में इसका पहले उसकी रैली हुई थी ये बात हम युवाओं को बहुत खलती है जहाँ पूरा यूथ रील स्ट्रॉलिंग में लगा है वहाँ मैं पूरे दिन यही देखता हूँ कि आखिर ये पी एफ आई जो पूरे देश में बैन है उसकी कोटा में रिली क्यों हुई थी और अशोक गहलोत ने सिंध वोटों के लिए राजस्थान में ये अपने आतंकवाद को बढ़ावा क्यों दिया और दूसरे एक चीज ये भी है जैसे कांग्रेस सरकार उन्होंने गारंटी भी दी है पांच गारंटी भी दी है तो उसको लेकर क्या सोचते हैं गारंटी वो कोई मेरी बात सुनिए जब मैं सुरक्षित ही नहीं हूँ तो मैं गारंटी नहीं राशन पानी को क्या करूंगा जब मैं सुरक्षित ही रन नहीं जाऊंगा तो मैं राशन को क्या करूंगा पानी को क्या करूंगा मैं फार्मर हूँ मुझे दिक्कत पता है खाऊगी की हॉस्पिटल नहीं है पानी नहीं है लेकिन पहले जो ये पी की रैली हुई है उसको ये वो मेन मुद्दा है पानी आ जाएगा अपने हिसाब से प्यासे नहीं है हजार रुपए दे देंगे वो भी हमको कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन मेन दिक्कत है पी की राजस्थान ने पी को एंट्री क्यों दी और उनकी रैली क्यों की और उनको बढ़ावा क्यों दिया एक है हमारे साथ लोग जिंदर साहब कहना है कि ये जो है कहीं ना कहीं इनकी समस्या भी है कई बार जो है कांग्रेस के जो सात गारंटी है उनको भी ज्यादा ये महत्व नहीं दे रहे हैं जी हम्म मोफतलाल इस जानकारी के लिए हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद अकील खान पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट विद ऑन द प्रोग्राम नाउ शिवम शुक्ला बीजेपी स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑल्सो इज विद ऑन द शो मानसवी था political analyst joins us on the program as well manasvi if you can hear me i'd like to come to you manasvi are you there with us okay perhaps not akil khan yes mr khan Hello? your 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 uh, you know honest uh, analysis of uh, what can happen in rajasthan on the basis of what has happened in uh, rajasthan in the last 5 years and of course you and i both know that there is there is so much that has happened in rajasthan including uh, you know the drama that keeps on unfolding uh, within the party of uh, uh, you know the leadership and of course mr pilot yeah uh, you see uh, the most important aspect of uh, these elections uh, in uh, five states uh, especially in three states Uh, that uh, aam aadmi party is uh, has transformed the how the politics is done that the most important aspect uh, uh, the media is not uh, very much covering 
बिकॉज द बिजली पानी शिक्षा स्वास्थ्य रोजगार एंड गारंटी all this is being uh, followed by all other parties because it is uh, earlier if you see earlier elections uh, these things were not discussed at all and now also i find that uh, bjp is discussing something else they are distracting from the main issues because they have uh, failed to uh, meet all those uh, requirements so uh, in uh, rajasthan particularly i would say uh, that overall overall the uh, minus and plus and negatives and positives you are uh, taking into consideration so uh, it's a positive and rajasthan congress is going to have majority uh, with some uh, dent uh, by aam aadmi party as well because uh, they have uh, put some uh, burning issues of the nation into the focus of the present day elections so what i think is uh, that uh, uh, bjp is not uh, going to win in rajasthan only congress will win marginally and then uh, uh, i think uh, aam aadmi party is going to put a very good uh, show during this uh, all these uh, three states elections where they are fighting hmm shivam if you're there with us Shivam, so you know, we just heard my colleague speak to a number of voters. So it's it's not only about women's security. It's not only about kuda kachra. A number of these people have also been complaining about no water and electricity in Rajasthan. You know, that's 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 a very strange concern in this day and age in any part of India. Look, the Rajasthan government has been deliberately failing on these issues. The central government has been running the Nal Jal Yojana, but the benefits of it are not being distributed among the masses of Rajasthan only because of the failure of their state government. Similarly, when it comes to the electricity, that's a subject of state government, and Rajasthan government has been failing on it. We have seen the similar sort of situation in all the other states where Congress has been into the power. There are the scarcity of the electricity, water, education. roads transportation etc and so it's not a new phenomena for a congress ruled state the congress party has been focusing its politics on three major pillars one is appeasement other is corruption and third is nepotism and these are the three core things that are keeping our country behind that are leading of the rajasthan madhya pradesh or any other state when it is concerned the people of madhya pradesh and chatisgarh have ensured that the congress should be thrown out of the power wherever it is and that's the reason the people of rajasthan are also very vigorous when they are going to vote they are of the clear cut view that the congress government that has been promoting appeasement into the state where the sanatan identity and the various outlooks of sanatan are into the danger where the women security is a major concern where the development is being halted so that sort of government will be thrown out of the power and this this is very clear cut agenda of the people of rajasthan and what we are seeing in the rajasthan they are not working on the developmental indicators they are trying to divide the society on the caste lines they are trying to appease minority populations and these are these all are the things of a congress ruled state so we are fighting on election that the congress party has been failing the rajasthan time and again the people of rajasthan has been giving chances to the congress party in every five year and they have been putting halt on the developmental agenda that was being carried out by the Uh, previous bharatiya janata party government the rajasthan is having so much of opportunities when it comes to tourism we are seeing the states where Mad- uh, bharatiya janata party into power their metros are being built their infrastructure the, the express highways ways are being built but in rajasthan we are not seeing any such sort of infrastructural development and that's the reason tourism activities in rajasthan are not booming as they could be so this is a major concern the rajasthan is now going to vote and elect a government that will give the farmers their due the government that will ensure that there is a no no paper leak in the government exams that a government that will ensure that the unpl- unemployment rate in rajasthan is being put it down a government that will ensure the women safety and that will punish the offenders who are committing the crimes against women with the capital punishment itself the wherever bjp is into power they ensured that the those all those who are committing crimes against women should be paid off with the capital punishment and what we are seeing the rajasthan government was not focusing on the developmental agenda they have been more involved into the internal party tussle between sachin pilot and ashok gehlot we have been seeing the rajasthan has become a atm for the 
यूनियन सेंट्रल लीडरशिप ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी द राहुल गांधी प्रियंका गांधी बट बट शिवम दे हैवन बीन टू मेनी करप्शन चार्जेस अगेंस्ट द कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट एज वाज द केस विद वसंतरा राजे नो आई डोंट इफ देयर वाज नो करप्शन चार्जेस दे शैल नॉट हैव सेक्ड द मिनिस्टर हु वाज प्रेजेंटिंग द लाल डायरी इन द विधानसभा दैट वाज हैविंग ऑल द डीबीसीएस चार्जेस दैट आर बीइंग that are being put it on the ashok gehlot government if there was no corruption charges then sachin pilot shall not have taken a jan sangharsh yatra if there was no corruption charges the congress government shall not have put it inquiry commission on it look the people of rajasthan are evidently watching the corruptions they are seeing it from the very gram panchayat level to the secretariat of the state government and that's the region people of rajasthan are having a clear cut view about this government people of rajasthan are evidently seeing that the their developmental works are being compromised the we uh, tmlas be the minister they are all becoming unruly and that's why the interest all of right. people okay. in the all are right shivam we have a, rahul kaswan bjp lok sabha member of parliament from the churu parliamentary constituency joining us on the show appreciate uh, you jo- joining us mr kaswan first up uh, the question is do you think bjp's lal dairi campaign uh, will work करेगा जी करप्शन बहुत बड़ा इशू रहा है कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट का और इसके ऊपर जनता वोट देगी भारतीय जनता पार्टी को और एक हर जगह पे जहां पे लोकल विधायक कांग्रेस के रहे उन्होंने भ्रष्टाचार की सीमाएं पार करी हैं और जो लोकल इश्यूज बहुत बड़ा मुद्दा है करप्शन हर हालत में रहेगा आपको लगता है जो प्रधानमंत्री मोदी की जो योजनाएं हैं जो राजस्थान में जिनको इम्प्लीमेंट किया जाएगा उससे भी चुनाव के निर्णय पर असर आ सकता है देखिए जी मोदी जी का जो विजन है जो हमारा अमृत काल के रूप में हम जो देख रहे हैं वो विजन बहुत बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट है और राजस्थान के अंदर बिजली पानी की हमसे समस्या रही है और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ने इन दोनों योजनाओं का ढप करने का काम किया दोनों योजनाएं बड़ी इम्पोर्टेंट थी एक हमारी दीनदयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण ज्योति योजना थी और जल जीवन मिशन जल जीवन दीनदयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण ज्योति योजना जो बाद में सौभाग्य बनी वो योजना तो पिछले पाँच साल से राजस्थान में बंद ही पड़ी है आज मेरे डिस्ट्रिक्ट अकेले चोरू में अड़तालीस हजार के लगभग पेंडिंग ढाणियों में कनेक्शन की पेंडेंसी है जिसको गवर्नमेंट ने एग्जीक्यूट नहीं किया भारत सरकार ने जब आरडीसी स्कीम लॉन्च करी 2021 में पहली मीटिंग राजस्थान में हमने चोरू में कराई 2022 दिसंबर के अंदर तो गवर्नमेंट तो सिंसे थी नहीं कभी इस बात को लेकर की डेवलपमेंट करना है और जल जीवन मिशन का बत्तीस काम भी पूरा नहीं हुआ तो ये तो बहुत महत्वपूर्ण ऐसी योजना है जिसको राजस्थान की जरूरत थी और राजस्थान की गवर्नमेंट उसमें फेलियर रही है तो मोदी जी के जो योजनाएं हैं उसका पब्लिक एटलास्ट में बड़ा पॉजिटिव इंपैक्ट था पर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एग्जीक्यूशन में बहुत वीक रही है और ये इशू मेरे इलेक्शन में खूब बनाया चुरू के अंदर आपको लगता है प्रधानमंत्री मोदी ने जो खुद कैंपेनिंग की है फाइनल स्टेजेस पे आ, उससे पर उ, उस, उसकी वजह से भी आ, मतदान पर असर पड़ सकता है डे वन से ही कर रहा है पीएम साहब हमारा बहुत बड़ा फेस है और उन्होंने अपने परफॉर्मेंस से जन जनता के मन में एक जगह बनाई है आज दुनिया भर में मोदी साहब का नाम है और जहाँ जहाँ उनकी रैलीज हुई हैं उनके आसपास की सीट्स पे बड़ा अच्छा इंपैक्ट पड़ा है और मेरा तो ये मानना है कि बहुत पॉजिटिव रहेगा ये इलेक्शन बीजेपी के पर्पस के लिए और हम हमारी सरकार बनेगी और उसमें मोदी जी का बहुत बड़ा इम्पैक्ट है और आज भी यूथ है एक आम नागरिक है तो मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में देश को देखना चाहता है और आगे भी देखना चाहेगा और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की डबल इंजन की सरकार भी मोदी जी के नाम पर जरूर बनेगी कांग्रेस पार्टी ने अशोक गहलोत पर फिर भरोसा जताया है और फिर से उनको मुख्यमंत्री का चेहरा बनाया है क्या आपको लगता है कि ये रणनीति कांग्रेस पार्टी के लिए फिर से काम करेगी नहीं कांग्रेस के पास तो आज भी कोई विजन नहीं है वो आज भी 1970s की पॉलिटिक्स करते हैं देवड़िया बांट के लोगों का दिल जीतना चाहते हैं पर यूथ थर्टी सेवन थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स के जो बिलो एज का यूथ है वो फोर्टी सेवन परसेंट के लगभग बैठता है हमारी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंस में तो उसका माइंडसेट बहुत क्लियर है उसको विजनरी लीडरशिप चाहिए और कांग्रेस के पास में ऐसी कोई लीडरशिप है नहीं जहाँ तक मैं समझता हूँ कि गहलोत साहब हों चाहे कांग्रेस में कोई भी हो आज राजस्थान की जनता कांग्रेस को नकार चुकी है और बीजेपी हर हालत में आएगी और मोदी जी के लीडरशिप के अंदर हमारे राजस्थान स्टेट में बीजेपी बनेगी तभी हम सही मायने में विकास हमारे यहाँ पे स्टेट में आ पाएगा सब लोग ये भी जानना चाहते हैं कासवान साहब कि बीजेपी की तरफ से मुख्यमंत्री का दावेदार या चेहरा कौन हो सकता है वो पार्टी तय करेगी 
जिसको भी मामले कमल के निशान पे वोट मांगे हैं इस बार और जो भी पार्टी जिसको जिम्मेदारी देगी शीर्ष नेतृत्व देगा वो स्वीकार्य होगा जो पेपर लीक का जो मामला सामने आया था आपको लगता है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ने उस पर कुछ खास काम नहीं किया और अगर बीजेपी की सरकार आती है राजस्थान में तो वो कुछ ना कुछ इस मामले में करके दिखाएगी कुछ गिरफ्तारियां होंगी कुछ एक्शन होगा बिल्कुल जीरो करप्शन नो करप्शन टॉलरेंस का जो सिस्टम है वो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का हमेशा से स्टैंड रहा है और जिस तरीके से यूथ के साथ धोखा हुआ है राजस्थान के अंदर पिछले इन पांच सालों के अंदर उसकी कोई प्योर इंक्वायरी की जाएगी जल जीवन मिशन की इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए जो टंकियां बनी हैं जो पानी की पाइपलाइन है गाँव के अंदर वो बहुत बड़ा इशू है और करप्शन का तो जो भी इशू रहा है इस इलेक्शन में बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट आने के बाद में इनकी इंक्वायरी हर हाल में होगी और जो कल्प्रिट है उनको बख्शा नहीं जाना चाहिए ये जनता का भी मूड है और मैं मानता हूँ कि हमारी गवर्नमेंट बनेगी उस पर अवश्य काम करेगी कास्पन साहब आखिरी सवाल आपको फिर जाने देंगे हम राहुल गांधी और प्रियंका गांधी ने भी काफ़ी मेहनत की है राजस्थान में आपको लगता है कि ये एक ऐसा फैक्टर है जिससे फर्क पड़ सकता है चुनाव पर मैं नहीं मानता जी मैं समझता हूं कि आज कांग्रेस की कुछ जगह नहीं है आम यूथ और एक आम नागरिक जो स्टेट का है या पूरी कंट्री एट लार्ज का है वो मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में मच मोर कम्फर्टेबल महसूस करता है एंड पीपल नोज दैट थिंग हमें अनदर फ्यूचर टेन ईयर्स बीजेपी को देने पड़ेंगे अदरवाइज अमृतकाल में जो डेवलप नेशन का ड्रीम देखा है टीम साथ नहीं कांग्रेस के भरोसे कभी पूरा नहीं हो पाए राहुल कासवान बीजेपी लोकसभा मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस राजलक्ष्मी जोशी कमिंग बैक टू यू एंड इन फैक्ट यू नो आई वांट यू टू एड्रेस द सेम क्वेश्चन आई आस्क मिस्टर कासवान अबाउट द राहुल गांधी एंड द प्रियंका प्रियंका फैक्टर डू यू थिंक इट इज अ फैक्टर व्हेन इट कम्स टू राजस्थान और डू यू थिंक व्हेन इट कम्स टू मिस्टर गहलोत ही इज परहैप्स यू नो मोर डियर एंड 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 मोर पावरफुल व्हेन इट कम्स टू यू नो गार्डनिंग क्राउड्स एंड एंड यू नो पुटिंग आउट मैसेजेस आप Vinny, that's a very interesting question, and uh, you know, I have always felt that uh, you know, Mr. Rahul Gandhi and uh, Priyanka Gandhi also, you know, they're not very conversant with what the local issues are actually, and uh, they seem to be you know stuck about certain issues. They seem to be stuck about the caste card right now, and also about the Adani issue. Now, when you talk about Adani issue. uh you know it's it's strange because then uh, you know just a year back mr gehlot uh, on stage you know he has felicitated mr adani and he has complimented him and he has said that he is uh, you know it is so uh, uh, noteworthy and it is praiseworthy that mr adani is uh, you know one of, one of the richest people on earth so then uh, and not just that uh, mr adani has 65000 crore worth of investments in uh, rajasthan so and that has happened uh, du- uh, during the mr gehlot's tenure so you know what are they talking about so when mr G- rahul gandhi keeps talking about the adani issue in rajasthan and in chatisgarh also it shows that he is not really uh, you know in terms with uh, he is not really conversant with what is actually happening on ground and again when he pulls up you know now he he has been talking about this caste card okay now uh, very uh, smartly pm modi ji he pulled out this you know he has actually uh, hit uh, two birds with one uh, uh, stone i could say when he pulled out this thing about uh, mr gehlot and uh, the congress party sidelining sachin pilot and he also spoke about the Gujar community. Now, then, in response, let me tell you what Sachin Pilot has actually said. Sachin Pilot said that eight crore people are in Rajasthan, and when the government is formed, there will be support for everyone, be it farmers, youth, backward, forward, and effort should be made to bring everyone together. And I think caste politics or religious politics is not a healthy sign for democracy. And uh, he has said that we should set an example for the next generation, etc., etc. So then he is talking about how we should not be bringing in the caste factor. And whereas Rahul Gandhi has been talking exactly the opposite, he has been saying that this caste should be the basis on which all these uh, development policies or schemes should be formed, or whatever benefits to be given. So here you see that there is this stark difference between what all the leaders are talking. So uh, Sachin Pilot, on the one hand. he says that you should not consider my caste or you should not be looking into my religion or caste and every everything will be given to everybody 
which is exactly what the bjp has been talking about they are saying that sabka saath sabka vikas and they are saying that you don't want the caste census because then that is not necessary we are giving development to everybody is what pm modi and uh, all the bjp has been saying so you know uh, the congress actually uh, even if they have had any achievements they are not able to portray them properly they are talking about all kinds of guarantees they are not really talking about what exactly are the issues now you spoke about the water water issues now see they have the bjp is uh, highlighting the jal jeevan mission and all the corruption due to uh, uh, happening there so whatever amount was uh, released by the center they have been badly misused and instead of actually putting out the pipes and uh, uh, giving out the water to the people which is such an important issue in rajasthan it being a desert state they are actually stealing some pipes from haryana and they are not even using uh, the actual pipes and not just that there were fake certificates so all of this vinith has been very smartly highlighted by the bjp and the congress is talking on some other issues they are talking on some other level and i don't think that the you know the leaders that is rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi are really aware of what exactly the issues are on ground so they don't seem to be really creating such an impact on the actual voters you know it may uh, it may sound very uh, it's something like a eye wash or it's something like uh, uh, you know lip service that they are all right there seems to be a problem with uh, your connection raj lakshmi let me come back to you momentarily mr akil khan how do you respond to what raj lakshmi joshi has said she said that uh, you know rajasthan is in dire need of uh, you know some of the national policies and initiatives that the bjp is working on and uh, the congress perhaps has uh, you know been trying to stop them uh, for the most part of it uh, you see the most important aspect of uh, any government which is the uh, leading the country is your intention the most important part is your intention if it is uh, your intention is really to develop the lal ye mera mohalla hai mere mohalle ke andar bujurg bujurg mahila hai inka inko mera bachpan yaad aata hoga mera bachpan yaad aata hai kitni aashirwad de rahi hai mujhe theek hai na सर सर चौथी बार आपको लग रहा है सर आप मुख्यमंत्री बन रहे हैं आपकी सरकार जो है वो रिपीट हो रही है क्या आपको रिपीट हो रही है सरकार रिपीट हो रही है और सर गारंटियां आपने दी है आपको लगता है गारंटी होगी कैडिबिलिटी बहुत हाई है बहुत हाई कैडिबिलिटी गारंटी होगी है सरकार रिपीट होगी इस बार और बीजेपी कह रही है सर की मोदी जी का नाम चल रहा है मोदी जी की बातों में कोई दम नहीं है ये चुनाव मोदी जी का नहीं है विधानसभा चुनाव है पच्चीस साल के बाद में आज के बाद में ये सब लोग गायब हो जाएंगे ये पांच साल बाद आएंगे सब लोग हम लोग यहीं रहेंगे हम जनता के बीच जाएंगे उनके सुख दुख में भागीदार बनेंगे विकास की बात करेंगे आते जाते रहेंगे उनके बीच में वो नहीं आने वाले पांच साल बाद आएंगे सब लोग आप समझ सकते हो जनता के लिए All right, Mr. Ashok Gehlot, uh, saying that this is a unique opportunity. It is uh, going to come back again after five years, and he also mentioned that this is his turf, this is his mohalla, this is where he grew up, and this is where his people are. Mr. Khan, we had lost you there in the middle, sir. Continue with what you were saying. Okay, uh, the most important aspect I was discussing is uh, your intention. and uh, uh, the party must feel responsible that they are uh, leading the country and prime minister should uh, uh, give his statement uh, in a very responsible way that he is leading the uh, country not a particular state or a particular party and uh, unfortunately very unfortunately prime minister has not shown that kind of guts uh, the prime minister is uh, also busy in petty politics of uh, state and the local leaders and uh, i would say hmm. if we want to uh, develop our country uh, which prime minister and bjp is telling by 2047 we are going to become a developed country right now we will see the condition of the country is that we are at 111 numbers uh, in, in the in the hunger index 
22 crores plus people are um, uh, sleeping hungry and uh, our country's per capita income you see 142 142 means we are very near to the african country those who have got a under developed economy so what kind of uh, uh, what kind of future and what kind of development we have done uh, means bjp has done over the 10 years period so uh, the most important aspect for any election is what you are going to do and what you have done for uh, that area uh, particularly if, you, if we are talking about rajasthan uh, i don't find that there is a very good relations between the center and the uh, and the states uh, ruled okay, by okay you've raised other, some important uh, points you've raised some important points let me in fact also welcome anusvi thapar political analyst on to this program manasvi appreciate uh, you speaking with us a very good morning to you mr akil khan says that you know petty politics is what the center has been practicing he's also called out the prime minister for exercising the same but uh, you know the noteworthy thing manasvi is that the you know the chief minister of rajasthan has responded to each and every allegation that has been put out by the prime minister or for that matter of for that matter any member of the bharatiya janata party as well mr gelot has always been on the ball he's been in fact proactive when it comes to allegations against him or his party in rajasthan see mr gelot ashok gelot ji is one of the veteran politicians of india and he in in fact his political journey has been his experience has been bigger than larger than of prime minister narendra modi in politics though the stature of prime minister narendra modi ji is much bigger because he is the prime minister but the experience of politics in terms of national politics in terms of state politics ashok gehlot ji understands rajasthan very well he understands the pulse very well and he is a veteran uh, politician a politician from rajasthan and so every time bjp tried tried to uh, Uh, get in roots in Rajasthan. There was something which uh, was like a speed breaker for the BJP. Somehow, uh, I, what I feel from the ground reports and the understanding is BJP, is, which is generally very strong as an opposition, BJP, which is generally very strong in creating engagement with the Karyakartas at the ground level, at the booth level. Somehow, this was missing in Rajasthan. This was not the case in other 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 states. But uh, unfortunately, or for what reason, fortunately for Congress. the bjp's activeness uh, was not there which was gen- which is generally shown and also on the contrary the infights in bjp which are not open but could be seen could be felt in the karyakartas was very much there the groupism in bjp which is not the case after 2014 but somehow it was felt in rajasthan so these were things which was uh, there against the bjp on the contrary Ra- congress which is known as a party where everything comes out in open all right manasvi there seems to be a problem with your connection let me open Ra- okay manasvi you're back continue please yeah so somehow congress which is, which is a party which have a have a tendency of being a very open party in terms of disputes the the indiscipline of the party is very much shown in the party but somehow as a rajasthan unit this somehow could have managed to take controls of it though the groups were there but somehow while while fighting this election they the karyakartas felt it's a one unit so these things somehow is helping congress and bjp which was supposed to be a united front had not come out as a united front as a force which generally bjp is like a juggernaut uh, in terms of moving ahead this is not there in bjp which is a rarity after 2014 and the inputs of the central leadership in rajasthan was also not very uh, warm which is generally there in other uh, involvements in other states so these things i don't know why what is the reason of of not actively working as bjp as bjp fights but this this is going to be the major factor turning factor for congress not that congress has done the best works in rajasthan not that congress is one of the most oiled machinery in rajasthan in terms of politics but something which is that x factor of bjp is missing in this election hmm all right rajalakshmi how would you like to respond the x factor for the bharatiya janata party has been missing uh vinith uh, you know uh, i was uh, listening to what uh, manasvi ji was saying and uh, you know uh, what i feel is that like i was telling you some time back 
that uh, you know there is this trend but then the the bjp has not taken anything lightly is what i feel you know because uh, in spite of the fact that uh, definitely there are a lot of stronghold seats of the bjp traditionally stronghold seats and in spite of all of that uh, the bjp has put in every effort to make sure that uh, every seat is taken care of so this i feel that uh, you know they have been tackling it as a seat by seat kind of an election so every particular area whatever are the issues have been addressed and uh, they have been those all those issues that have been uh, you know the people have been facing like i was talking about the jal jeevan mission or uh, the paper leaks the communal riots uh, the uh, all those uh, you know even the kanhaiya lal issue all of that you know have been uh, tackled at uh, every uh, whatever whichever area whatever are the issues they have been tackled there they have been addressed they have been spoken about the bjp has not left anything to chance in rajasthan um, so uh, and that is how how they uh, approach every election so that is what uh, i feel is the difference between the approach between the uh, bjp and the congress now uh, like i was telling you that uh, you know sachin pilot has come out and said something that is uh, you know in totally in contrast with with what the uh, congress line has been he is talking about not considering caste and religion at all whereas the the high command of the congress has been talking about exactly that that the caste of the person matters when uh, any policy is going to be made so he is talking about how jiski jitni abadi uski utni you know whatever benefits they will be given so how are they on the same page i don't think that the high command and the uh, you know all the uh, the people who are actually coming there and campaigning they are actually uh, aware of what the local issues are so they don't seem to be actually coming together uh at least that is not what is visible to the people so they within themselves they may have not they may have ironed out the differences superficially but i don't think that they have actually addressed what the actual issues are so they probably did not get the brief so sachin pilot whatever statement he gave was totally in contrast and uh, so uh, and it is a it is a fact that he is definitely much more capable than what responsibility he has been given i think that he definitely could have done much better so he uh, you know even though he was the deputy chief minister he and mr gehlot were literally not on talking terms and they have definitely not really come together and uh, addressed any issues in fact he was the one who has uh, sat on a, he sat on this fast saying that you know the mr gehlot has not addressed any of the corruption issues so the, all of this have were not addressed the way they should have been the congress has definitely overlooked mr pilot and i think that that is definitely going to hurt them uh, in the long run hmm all right shivam how do you respond to uh, the observations that have been uh, made by manasvi in fact manasvi wants to cut in and make a quick point manasvi go ahead the basic the basic idea of sachin pilot's uh, agitation against ashok gehlot was vasundhra rajesh corruption so it is good for the bjp that ashok gehlot did not take the required action which he was supposed to so that was the basic allegation so this this when it comes from the bjp it is on the ironic front that they are saying there is a dispute between ashok gehlot and sachin pilot on the issues of corruption and when the issue was they don't talk about the issue the issue was on the corruption of vasundhra raje and that that action that required action which uh, uh, congress was required to take against vasundhra raje's corruption has not been taken this was the agitation they talk Why about was the it not taken but they don't Why talk about the taken they don't talk about the issue so they miss out on the issue but they always remember the dispute part so this is very ironical and interesting at the same point this was only what i wanted to make a point hmm. um really i am speaking here as a political analyst so obviously i am going to point out that the issue between mr pilot and mr gehlot is still remains so uh, mr gehlot should have taken some action on the other hand he went out and he praised vasundhara raje ji that you know she was the one who saved his government i mean so that was uh, instead of taking action uh, he went out uh, he uh, he praised her and he appreciated her cooperation or whatever that was so i mean uh, as a political analyst i find that strange that uh, he should have actually 
um, uh, you know, uh, iron out the differences with his people from his own party, rather than maybe uh, you know giving out uh, some kind of a uh, appreciation to somebody from the other side. So that I find really strange, Vinit. All right, just hold on to those thoughts. Uh, at this point in time, uh, Lalit Tanwal, General Secretary, Rajasthan Congress Party, is. Uh, also joining us on the show. Lalit ji, we have a lot of thanks to talk about this. Do you think that the BJP's Lal Diary campaign will have any effect on Rajasthan's effect on Rajasthan's effect? Look, the effect of 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 Rajasthan is going to be in Rajasthan. अभी चल रही है चिरंजीव योजना अभी चल रहा है ओपीएस जो लागू किया है 2000 यूनिट जो किसानों के फ्री की है 100 यूनिट जो आम भोक्ता को राहत मिली है ये सब जो विकास है इन मुद्दों पर जो है पूरे राजस्थान की जनता से फंसता रहे और पूरी तरह से राजस्थान की जनता मन बढ़ा चुकी है और इन्हीं मुद्दों पर यह चुनाव लड़ा जा रहा है हम्म आपको लगता है कि राहुल गांधी का एक जो वादा था कास्ट सेंसस को लेकर राजस्थान में उससे भी कुछ फर्क पड़ेगा निश्चित रूप से राहुल जी ने बार बार कहा है और ये हमने कर्नाटक के चुनाव में भी कहा था राहुल जी ने और हमने राजस्थान में भी जो राहुल जी कह रहे हैं अगर सरकार बनेगी तो यहाँ निश्चित रूप से इस बात पर अमल होगा जी आपको लगता है कि प्रधानमंत्री ने जो राजस्थान में आखिरी के दिनों में एक बहुत जो ऊर्जा और फोकस दिखाया उससे जो चुनाव है उस पर कुछ ना कुछ जो फेवर है वो बीजेपी की तरफ टिल्ट हुआ है देखिए यहाँ जिस तरह के हालात है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के अंदर उन्हें कोई चेहरा भी नहीं मिला और प्रधानमंत्री जी जिस तरह से यहाँ पर रेलियों के अंदर कोई कहने को कोई बात ही नहीं थी उनके पास न केंद्र की कोई विकास की कोई बात कह चुक कह सके और न यहाँ पर राजस्थान की जो सरकार थी उसके बारे में कोई कमी वो गिना सके और वहाँ जो राजस्थान के अंदर जिस तरह से माहौल बना हुआ है उसको देखकर भारतीय जनता पार्टी है वो पूरी तरह से भोखला ही भी है और उन्होंने ललित जी अशोक गहलोत जी का जो किरदार है एक कांग्रेस का एक फेस होने का राजस्थान में उससे आपको क्या लगता है फर्क कितना फर्क पड़ेगा देखिए ये सब जो है वो जब आला कमान तय करते हैं और पार्टी के जो जीत कर आते हैं विधायक विधायक जो आते हैं उसके बाद में सब चीजें तय होती है और ये वरिष्ठ नेता और आला कमान का मसला है आपको लगता है कर्नाटक में जो कांग्रेस के लिए एक फॉर्मूला जो काम आया था शायद उसी को राजस्थान में भी अपनाया गया है देखिए राजस्थान अपने आप में एक मॉडल है पूरे देश के अंदर एक नजीर के रूप में हर राज्यों के अंदर इस तरह की योजनाओं की तारीफ की जा रही है और चाहे वो ओपीएस ले लीजिए चिरंजीवी योजना ले लीजिए इन योजनाओं का अपने आप में राजस्थान स्वयं मॉडल है और राजस्थान की योजनाएं पूरे देश के अंदर लागू करने की डिमांड भी की जा रही है केंद्र सरकार ओपीएस लागू की है भी कहते हैं कि पूरे देश के लोगों को ओपीएस का फायदा होना चाहिए तो राजस्थान इस तरह से जो योजनाएं लागू हुई है जनहित की उसको लेकर पूरे देश के अंदर एक अपने आप में एक सफल मॉडल साबित हुआ है ललित जी आपको लगता है कि ये जो चुनाव है सिर्फ एक राज्य तक ही सीमित है या फिर इसका जो असर है इसका जो अफेक्ट है एक तरह से आपको ये भी बतलाता है कि 2024 में लोकसभा में क्या होने वाला है देखिए राजस्थान का चुनाव निश्चित रूप से राजस्थान के अंदर जिस तरह से जनता विकास के मुद्दे पर वोट डाल रही है मैं समझता हूँ दो में भी पूरे देश की जनता है इसी तरह से भारतीय जनता पार्टी से सवाल पूछेगी कि आपने आखिर किया क्या इतने सालों के अंदर कितने रोजगार दिए किस तरह की जनहित की योजनाएं लागू की है वो सारे सवाल पूछे जाएंगे और जब मुद्दों पर चर्चा होगी और मुद्दों पर वोट पड़ेंगे तो निश्चित रूप से दो के अंदर भी राजस्थान के अंदर जिस तरह से 
जो योजनाएं लागू हुई है उसकी चर्चा होगी और विकास के नाम पर वोट पड़ेंगे तो कांग्रेस को ही वोट जाएगी जो राहुल गांधी और प्रियंका गांधी ने जो रैलियां की हैं चुनाव के कुछ आखिरी दिनों में उससे क्या फर्क पड़ा है राहुल जी हमारे नेता हैं राहुल जी जब राहुल जी ने पद यात्रा शुरू की थी पूरे हिंदुस्तान की तब उसके बाद में पूरे देश के अंदर जो माहौल बना है पॉजिटिव माहौल बना और राहुल जी की राजस्थान के अंदर जनता ने जिस तरह से जन समर्थन दिया पलक पावड़े पर बिछा कर राजस्थान की जनता ने स्वागत किया और राहुल जी का हमेशा से जनता के अंदर इंतजार रहता है राहुल जी की रैलियों का प्रियंका जी हमारी नेता है बहुत प्रखर वक्ता है उनको सुनने के लिए भी भारी भीड़ जो है और डिमांड हमेशा रही है और इन चुनाव के अंदर दोनों हमारे वरिष्ठ नेताओं की जो रैलियां हुई उसके बाद में राजस्थान के अंदर चुनावी माहौल में भी बहुत सकारात्मक हमारे प्रभाव पड़ा है और राजस्थान की योजनाएं ये सब मिलकर गहलोत साहब ने जो योजनाएं पांच साल में दी है आदरणीय गहलोत साहब की इन योजनाओं की सब तरफ जनता के अंदर पॉजिटिव माहौल माहौल बना पहली बार एंटी इनकम वैक्सी का कहीं कहीं भी नामो निशान नहीं है और इन सब बातों का प्रभाव पड़ेगा और हम फिर से कांग्रेस के अंदर सरकार सत्ता में लाल जी हमसे बातचीत करने के लिए आपका शुक्रिया शिवम वॉट यू मेक ऑफ यू नो द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट द कांग्रेस रिप्रेजेंटेटिव आर ऊजिंग ऑफ look uh, i was quickly carefully hearing all this discussion and there is was an allegation on the bjp that it has been discriminating with the state governments where it is into the opposition so i would keep a few facts about the rajasthan the congress led upa government when it was in center from 20, 2004 to 2014 it has given 2 lakh crore rupees to rajasthan for developmental work bharatiya janata party government has given 8.7 lakh crore to rajasthan and uh, other than this 7 lakh crore has been spent on the infrastructure in the Rajasthan itself and when we talk about the congress representative was saying that there has been no issues against the Rajasthan government there has been 35000 cases of rape and out of which 15000 cases are on the rapes of the minor and on to in the india to out of the total ca rape cases 22% happen in the Rajasthan only there have been more than 1900 far uh, 1900 farmers land seized only because they have promised their loan waiver and they didn't did it so this is a very basic thing that the rajasthan is suffering and when congress representatives are talking about such allegation that bjp is not having a face in rajasthan ashok gehlot was sitting chief minister he is still a chief minister yet congress party has not declared him as his their chief ministerial candidate in this election this clearly shows they are not having confidence on that sitting chief minister and there is some sort of rivalry between mr pilot and mr gehlot and the other thing is this rivalry is not among pilot and gehlot but this um, there are many other players as well it is naresh arora of design box it is cp cp joshi who used to be the chairman of the legislative assembly it is govind singh dotasra who is the state president so rajasthan congress party is busy among sol solving its internal party tussle whereas bharatiya janata party has been focusing how they are going to remap the rajasthan how they are going to take out the rajasthan from the darkness that the congress party has been building in the rajasthan itself so this election is being fought among the bharatiya janata party and the congress party on the faces of the two leaders when we talk about the prime minister and rahul gandhi rahul gandhi who makes poll promises and disappears from the state whereas the prime minister ensures the last mile delivery of the schemes that are being promised by the central government or the state government so there is a clear cut difference when the people of rajasthan are today voting i am very hopeful that they will vote for the betterment politics they will vote for the politics of the, the development that they will vote for the politics of nationalism and the congress party will be ruled out of the power in the rajasthan as it has been already done in the chatisgarh and madhya pradesh and we are very confident that we are getting back into the power in the rajasthan right mr akhil khan your response to what shivam has said of course the bjp also confident that chatisgarh and madhya pradesh will also go to the bhartiya janata party uh i would say we need the uh, that analysis by uh, our bjp pravakta is uh, based on uh, not what reality in our country is uh, you see the most important aspect of uh, any government uh, when uh, i would say when bjp came into power 
they have uh, promised to the public that uh, they will change uh, and they will be against corruption. Uh, they will be for the development of the country. And uh, what happened over the 10 years, if you see uh, that BJP has uh, become the most corrupt party. Uh, you see, if you, uh, if you see 24 lakh crore rupees uh, were uh, miswritten off of those uh, chronic capitalists, uh, their Modiji's friend. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.